Okay, howdy everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are continuing our Cyber Revolution Challenge. This will be evening four? Night four? Session four? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. It's the fourth one. Yeah, on Twitch side at least. And um, hopefully we get some stuff done. So, a few changes I've made, just minor ones that uh, I'll talk about, but... Uh, this is Isidro Fry, our bionic monster, and uh, basically we are trying to take a bionic monster, completely remove all of the negative or broken cybernetics, the CBMs that are all busted up and causing problems, get all those nasty things out of his body, get them all beefed up with some good CBMs, and, uh, and also try to recruit some cyber buddies. There's a way to get uh, prototype cyborgs that are new to the game uh, to turn friendly and be available to recruit as NPCs. We're going to try to do that, but I think we're a ways away from it. Um, pretty sure I need to get a control laptop before I can do that, so we're missing uh, several important keys to that process. So that'll probably be towards the end of the challenge when we start trying to do that portion of it. Uh, but yeah, so there's our Bionic Monster up on the screen right now. You can see trait-wise, nothing too massively negative this time out. I figured the negative cybernetics in my normal world settings was going to be tough enough for this one, so I went fairly easy on the traits. Uh, just a hodgepodge of kind of middle-of-the-road traits there. Um, Self-defense class, we did take Krav Maga as our hand-to-hand -hand training style. Made us uh, pretty effective at uh, melee combat, especially in combo with our uh, Wolverine Claws. We've got the Bionic Claws, and they uh, have been very, very helpful for us, so it's been our primary melee weapon throughout the game so far. Uh, Skill-wise, we've made a little bit of progress, just enough to kind of get by, and we're at the point where I need to really grind out a bunch of skills, and that's one of the changes I've made. I've actually turned off the Z-level function, uh, and then rebooted, and hopefully it actually takes effect. I'm a little fuzzy. I've tried it before by turning it off when it's set for a world, and had limited success, so we'll see if it actually does it. Um, but I want to turn it off. This is such a heavily lab-focused challenge, and Z-levels with labs or being near labs is such a nightmare. I just get so frustrated and irritated by the propagation of noise between levels. It's just ridiculous, and it's causing some problems. Um, along with some other issues that are going on, including the sighting issue with the light problems might be affected by the Z-levels. I'm a little fuzzy on that, too. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to turn Z-Levels off again. I typically played with them off for the longest time because the benefits are, in my opinion, outweighed by the irritation factor. Um, I've been playing with them in the last four or five runs, and it's been okay, but it's just driving me nuts in this one. So there's just massive slowdowns to the performance of the game because it's got to compute everything on the various levels, and the noise interruptions are ridiculous. Um, if you try to move a stack of items, which is the main thing I use the Z-Levels for, is to haul items up and down stairs in big stacks, you end up trying to move a space, then a mouse will fart six levels below you, and then you have to respond 700 times, or however many items you have in your stack, on whether you want to interrupt that in order to take advantage of the mouse farting. So, it's just driving me nuts. So we're going to turn that off for a bit. Um, once we get out of the labs, I may turn it back on. We'll see. But i got a lot of reading to do, and it's just going to be constant interruptions and, and issues. So we'll see if it works. If not, I may have to actually move in order to get all the reading done. But uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, so let's see if uh, we've got everything else on here. So skills, traits. we still got six negative bionics to get rid of. We've succeeded in removing four, and those are the nastiest four, so I'm super happy about that. We just got six of them to go. None of them are fairly... Uh, are causing much of a problem in the actual running around the world, so we're down to the more minor ones at this point. But uh, still got a ways to go to get rid of them all. It's going to take us probably 15 to 20 anesthetic kits to get rid of them all, so we're going to have to keep up our lab rating and doctor office rating and hospital rating and so on in order to uh, try to make sure we get enough anesthetic kits to get them all out. Not even to mention trying to get new ones in. So that's the plan there. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, here's our gear. Again, nothing too exciting. We've added a few things from the uh, armories we just started to get into last episode. We swapped out some gear. Um... And we've added some really, really good weaponry. So we've got the RM-232 pistol loaded with penetrator rounds. So super high-end armor-piercing damage for those pesky Kevlar zombies and things like that. As well as an RM-51 assault rifle with a decent amount of ammo in it and some reloads available as well. 
Uh, so I was really, really excited when we finally, finally got a hold of that. That's pretty much my go-to weapon, either the assault rifle or the battle rifle. But uh, once I get the RivTech stuff, I can just ignore all the other weapons in the game. Makes my life a lot easier. So happy about that. Mainly we just need to get our protective gear caught up with the rest of our gear. We've got all the drugs we might need. We've got all the tools we might need. Uh, we haven't had the skills or the ability to do any of the metalworking things, and we haven't yet finished uh, enough tailoring and fabrication leveling up to really put on a decent level of protective gear. So that's going to be one of the focuses, is getting that done. We are slightly roadblocked in a few things. Uh, if we look at... Oops, all my books. All the books are down. Nah, this isn't even all of them. This is a few of the books. Um... We've got more up in the uh, upstairs area, I'll show you in a second, but uh, we're roadblocked in a couple spots. I've only got a book to six tailoring, and fab, we can go as far as we want with books. And the other big one is I need a mid-level computer book. We have not yet found one of the two mid-level computer books that takes you from uh, three to five. So I've got to find a mid-level computer book in order to bridge that gap. I've already got the robots for fun and profit, but I don't have a Hack Pro so or Hack Pro USB drive yet. So we need the mid-level computer book, and we need the Hack Pro before I can make the control laptop, before I can actually reliably start converting uh, prototype cyborgs. So, like I said, we got a few things to accomplish. Um, as soon as we get some protective gear on, it's going to make moving around in the cities a lot easier, and I'll be able to hunt down uh, the things, a few things that I have left on my list to grab. So. That'll be good, but this is our laboratory we're hanging out in currently. Uh, we've fully explored it all the way down to the finale room, and we've got a railroad connection to two other labs. There's one to the north we can connect to, and there's one buried in that city to our south that we can also connect to. Uh, so we've got those options next, but uh, this one went five levels deep, and that's the finale room right there. Um... But we fully explored it. We've uh, checked out all of the libraries, all of the barracks, pretty much everything I want to. So at this stage, we're just kind of getting our gear put together and um, doing some long delayed reading and crafting so that we can uh, get some better protection. That's really the only thing slowing me down at the moment. Now, what I do want to do, as I mentioned at the end of last episode, is uh, take a trip into town. So we are missing a couple of books that would be really, really helpful. So I do want to take a trip into town. Uh, we hacked a computer in the lab, which gave us this beautiful map area all uh, explored. Uh, we didn't know most of this before, so now I can see that we've got two libraries right here I'd love to visit. We've got uh, some doctor's offices uh, in that same area. Unfortunately, it's right on the nameplate, so it's going to be packed with zombies. Uh, there's a bank right there, but we don't have a stethoscope yet, so we'll be trying to get the stethoscope and uh, scalpel from the doc's offices, as well as possibly anesthetic kits and uh, the other good stuff. But a lot of things on the list that uh, I want to find. Um, I think we're going to do a daylight run down into town, though. That way I can spot ambulances much easier, get in and out of buildings, and so on. Um, we do have a dielectric capacitance, capacitance system that's been installed twice, after a bit of fun with a nurse bot and uh, a small amount of power, that should be enough to, if we focus on using it for that, allow us to uh, hopefully protect ourselves against the shock zombies as we travel. Um, I'm most worried about feral hunters and predators. Um, I've got slowdown issues with the negative bionics that doesn't make me as fast as normal on the rollerblades, so that's going to be my big issue. Um, so I'm going to have to be a little careful there. We don't have any schools on the list, unfortunately. No recycling centers. Nope, no recycling centers. Libraries, we've just got the two that I identified there. And bookstores. Just the one way far down the south end there. Um, that's pretty much the only normal sources of books. Libraries, bookstores, and recycling centers um, tend to be the best short of having access to uh, school. So... Unless there happens to be a school hiding right down here, which could be true, um, we're going to be out of luck there. We also discovered, much to my unhappiness, yet another fungal tower. <laughs> Goddamn fungus. I swear. Uh, can't seem to get away from them successfully. We moved out of some of the other places we were in because of fungal presence being all over the place. <laughs> right there. Hey there, Mr. Fungal Bloom. And there was another one right here, Fungal Bloom, down where we started. So I keep finding places that I want to set up in, only to find out there's a fungus somewhere nearby. 
Oh well, that's okay. We'll deal with it. Uh, so yeah, so first thing I want to do this evening is make that trip. See if we can survive a trip into town in the daylight. I would really, really rather gear up a bit, protection-wise, but we just don't have the skills for it quite yet. Get me where I need to go. Um, we're only sitting at tailoring four. And Fab 5, that's actually not too bad. Let me think about this, because if I go for even just... Do I have... Any, I don't think I have any of it yet. Yeah, I don't have any of it yet. Uh, I just need tailoring 5 for light survivor gear. And then uh, tailoring 6 will get us... Uh, get it to us without having much chance of failure. Hey there, Kush X. Thank you very much for the Prime. Appreciate the sub. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens though. But let me uh, catch up, check up with chat here, say hi to a few folks. Either SZQ, Daydreamer, Baracher, welcome, welcome. Cruiserman. He turned off the Z levels and didn't seem to affect the lighting problems. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it would or not. Um, it's mostly the sound propagation and... Zombies are broke in regards to they're not following up and down stairs. They don't. Uh, they're not obeying sound rules for up and down stairs. There's there's just a lot of stuff going on with Z levels right now, and it's causing me more irritation than it is entertainment. So, the tactical choices that it makes for changing Z levels to be on and such, I would I would love to use it, but it's just so annoying. In particular, near labs. I mean. Out in the world, not so much. I mean, I'd be fine with it on out in the world. But when I'm spending huge amounts of time in labs, the Z-level stuff just is a nightmare. So we're going to turn it off for a while. What did you think of the nurse bot? I thought the nurse bot was hilarious. <laughs> the nurse bot was awesome. I don't know all the things involved with Miss, Miss Nurse Bot yet. So I, I, I believe there's friendly nurse bot, hostile nurse bot, and maybe a neutral nurse bot. And I'm not sure how they switch between... If you make them pure friendly after hacking them, if you get better results, I, I don't know. There's there's things about NurseBot I have not yet figured out. I'm avoiding going and looking them up or, or having anybody tell me on the Discord forums and so on. Um, so we'll see. But uh, I enjoyed the NurseBot. I think the NurseBot's an awesome addition. So, <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to see a uh, nurse bot action, just go to my YouTube channel, and uh, I uploaded a video this morning. <laughs> yeah, this morning about the uh, the naughty nurse, so you can't miss it. Brand new video over there. It's pretty short. It's about ten minutes. You'll have a lot of fun watching it. Good times. All right. Uh, so what are we gonna do? Uh, we got stuff here. I basically just pulled some stuff down here to try to get some reading done. Um, Hordes upstairs have been wrecking some of my vehicles, so I'm a little cautious about that action. But uh, we've got a lot of good gear here. Um, we've got the floor fully explored. We've got lots of raw materials. Pretty much I got everything I need. I just got to make a final decision on do I want to... If I do three levels of reading, if I get my tailoring to six, from four to six, and then get fab up to one more level... We'll have all the skills we need to successfully craft light survivor gear. It's kind of my go-to gear for when I'm doing a, a, a fast movement character on rollerblades and such. I try to stay light, um, but still have enough protection to basically keep me from getting tagged by low-level zombies. The higher-level zombies I always either avoid or I deal with separately. But I just want to be able to not get hit and uh, take damage from the low-level stuff. And the light armor does just enough to, to do that. I've got enough Kevlar in the uh, fire truck upstairs that I should be able to do it. I think that would probably be a smarter thing. Get get the light survivor gear on, then we'll take our trip into town. With Z levels off, I'm hoping that uh, that turning it off actually worked after I fully closed out and reloaded, and that it allows us to read books at a real rate. <laughs> Meaning I don't sit here and stare at the camera for a minute while I watch five minutes at a time scroll by on my clock as it tries to read um, and, and compute all the Z-level stuff. So that's the hope. Uh, so thirsty, tired, don't really care what time of day it is at this point. Focus sucks. Um, I have no food down here, really. I didn't bring... Oh, I've got MREs, I think, but I don't have them popped open. 
Hey, I've got a couple MREs still. Um, let's go back. Let's go upstairs real quick and take a look. So, here's our trusty constructor. It's been hammered to shit. So, we had uh, some zombies decided they wanted to come through the constructor to get inside the building. Even though they shouldn't have been able to see me. I have issues with some things like that. But, uh, they wrecked it pretty thoroughly. Um... It's still got some gas, and I really need to get the gas transferred out of here before they break that tank, too. But, um, yeah, that, that would suck, but I'm going to risk it. So, here's between that and this is my main stockpile of stuff. So, right here is what I want to look at. Uh, I'm not wearing any of my... Oh, crap. So, gas mask, roller blades... Here, don't care, don't care. Get that junk out of the way. Hmm, what was it showing me then? Uh, I think I left my duffel bag downstairs. Um, got backpack, backpack. Yeah, I left my duffel bag. That's all right. I just want to grab oops. <laughs> dirty water. So much dirty water. Just want to grab some postums. Sure, cookies. Lots of chocolate bars. And we're already full. Uh, I think that'll do for now. Um, <laughs> all right, what other books are we looking at? Chemistry, tech review. Most of these are cooking. SICP, I can't use it. Don't have the mid level computer book. All right, let's grab that one. All right, That's all I care about for now. Downstairs we go. All right, so we've got uh, all the light we need because we have our friendly turret. His name is Buddy. Hey, Buddy. He's uh, just lighting up the area and keeping me safe. Uh, let's go ahead and dump those. All of the happy making food. Ah, where is my duffel bag? <laughs> um, I know I didn't get my duffel bag kilt. Where are you at, duffel? You're not down here? Oops, that was it right there. <laughs> All right. The mystery of the missing duffel bag. Okay, so we've got uh, light, heat if we need it. I'm going to need to get some water here pretty soon. I think I am... Yeah, we got just a little bit more water in our jerry can. we got a source of that on this floor, so that won't be a problem. The only reason I have the brazier down here is just so I can boil up some clean water. So we'll see. Hey there, Mr. Zion. Yeah, it's going pretty good. All right, so we're decided on a course of action. <laughs> I am decided on a course of action. We're going to test the reading thing here, make sure the Z-Levels is... Irritation is gone. Um, so let's do tailoring. Let's finish getting tailoring to six. Actually, let's uh, eat some happy making food first. Toastums plus 15. Oh, I don't have any of the good toastums. Oh, that is sad making. 
Um, chocolate bar and that's all. That should be plenty. And do we have the earplugs in? We do not. Okay. All right, so we're jamming to some tunes. We got some uh, happy making food in our belly. That will raise our focus. If you're not familiar, the morale and things you eat and drink will give you bonuses, and that gives you a morale gain bonus, which is used to compute your focus gain. So right now we're going to be gaining focus. It's going to drain as I read the book, but it's going to offset the drain. So this number here, focus, acts as a percentage multiplier for your experience. So if focus is 100, you get full normal experience. If focus is 50, you're getting half experience. If your focus is 200, you're getting double experience. Pretty much how it works. Uh, go. See if we can read. Look at that. Look at that. Time is flying. Yay, Z level's off. I love it. <laughs> I'd be sitting here for a super stupid long time waiting for this to process if I had Z levels turned back on. Uh, stop reading. Yeah, we're dead tired. We better go sleep. Uh, all right, buddy. Time for you to turn off. Um, let's leave the earplugs in. Turn off the MP3 player. And... Yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to take care of. Yeah, this will go so much faster with uh, Z levels turned off. All right, current health value is 10. 10's a good number. 10's good. I'm happy with 10. Uh, let's have some more happy making food. More toastums, candies, pretzels. Cookies, chocolate bar, and a few slugs of clean water. Uh, come here, you. <laughs> and back to reading we go. Oh, forgot to turn the music on. <laughs> Activate. Keep reading. Oh, this makes, makes me so happy. I should I should have turned Z levels off last episode. All right, there's tailoring six. That quick and easy. Now we just need to work on uh, Fab, a level or two, and then start smashing out some light survivor gear and then go to town. We are famished. Let's have some more toastums, candy, the other toastum. Still hungry. Let's pop an MRE as well. Uh, beef taco, yum yum. Mm. That should be enough. And I'm definitely gonna have to go get some water. Oops. All right, Jerry Can. Where was that water? Up this way? Not that nasty water. We had a, uh... There it is. Alright. Do, 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 do. Hey there, infinite water supply. And let's drop it on the other side. Just so I know where it's at. And I have any gallon jugs laying around? I do. Okay, start a fire. 
And let's cook up. Uh, I need about four for me, and no, I need 15 for the jug, and then we'll do three extra. Oh, that's right. I can't do more than I've got capacity. All right, fine. Just do enough to put in the jug. Uh, that's right. I don't have a table nearby. I gotta probably fix that too. Uh, that's fine. Oh crap! Here we go again. I <laughs> can't craft with my claws out. Uh, so much power going by because I can't craft with my claws out. Go in progress. Water. Go. Alright, I am still thirsty. We can do two at a time still. Alright, good enough. Hydrated. We got 15 ready to go and easy to make more when we need it. Uh, I gotta re up these. I should have done these last. Um. All right, full hydrated. Uh, now we're tired. My best fab book to do here. 33 minutes. Yeah, that one's the same. The five. All right, either one will work. <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? Well, I expected it. I was shocked, I tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this damn endocrine thing is uh, making me tired more often. That's definitely the next one to go. Everything had worn off anyway. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I got led down that path, Frisman, because uh, the very... F what the hell? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Where'd you come from, Broken Cyborg? I got led down that path of assumption based on the first attempt um, where it failed to remove something. I assumed that was a negative bionic, or that a nurse would know the difference between a good bionic and a bad bionic, so that's why I assumed the nurse would be just taking out the bad ones. Apparently I assumed incorrectly. Uh, I don't have my claws out, I don't want to get my claws out. Let's just lock him in the bedroom. Run mode. Alright, did get enough sleep? Nah, we didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, my bad bionics, I think, still... I came close to outnumbering the good bionics at that point. <laughs> but now I know the proper response. It is death to all nurse bots. Death to all nurse bots. <laughs> Remove my dielectric capacitance system. All right. Have some water, slam down some more happy food. Turn the lights back on. Uh, my MP3 player is burned out. I don't think I brought more music or more batteries down with me. I'll just go without it. We're almost done anyway. All right, Fab Six, let's take a look. Hey there, Survivor List. All right, now let's do uh, Light Survivor just to cut that down. So this is what I was looking at crafting. So Light Survivor suit. Now I need the raincoat, which I picked up. I've got drop leg pouches and such upstairs. I've got duct tape. I've got these and or lots of Kevlar plates as soon as I chop up all of the fire gear. So we should be able to put that together. That's the primary part. Then uh, we'll do the hood, and then we'll do a heavy survivor helmet once I get another couple of levels of uh, tailoring. So that'll be later. And then gloves, no problem, no problem. So yeah, we should be able to put all the light survivors set together. That'll get us the 100% coverage and all the body parts, as well as enough protection that uh, we should be eh, not completely immune, but uh, fairly immune from most attacks by the low-level zombies, especially once I layer in one or two other pieces. All right. <clears throat> Let's 
So I still got Fab skill books. I mean, I could push Fab, but it's tailoring that I'm I'm stuck on right now. So I don't have uh, a high level tailoring book to get me above six. If I did I would definitely smash it out? That's one of the reasons we're going to make the trip into town to uh, hopefully get the high level tailoring book and the one of the two medium level computer books. If I can get those, we are golden. All right, so let's. Alright, so I'll be off on the road again, where I'd like to hang out. So, if I do a uh, light survivor suit, everything's here in the area other than rags. I need rags and thread. No problem. So those are both easy. Um, we've got multiple Kevlar vests. How many of those do I actually have? Oops. All. Uh, I've got the damaged one there. I'm wearing a damaged one. Plus, we've got the MBR vest with Kevlar plates I could clean real quick and uh, get that way as well. Let's, uh, let's grab that. We'll clean that up and part it out. And I'll bring rags up with me as well as uh, thread. Shouldn't be a problem. Need their rope. Um, two short ropes worth should do it. Uh oh, I've not been picking up soap and detergent. Um, that's gonna be funny if that's gonna stop me. Hmm. I'll have to check on that one. All right, so am I missing the word tailoring in any of these entries here? I don't think so. We're, we're just missing the high-level tailoring book. All right, um, towards that end, then, I need... I think, I think we're good with that. Let's not deal with that for the moment. Whoops! <laughs> bad water! Drank the bad water! And we'll see if we get uh, food poisoning off of it. Alright, where is... Do I have any of those rooms on this floor? Uh, not the auto dock room. It's this room. I need this section, but not this flooded, destroyed one. <laughs> I don't think I have any on this floor. I lost some of my map memory. Yeah, I don't think I have any here. Um, Still have my map memory for the floor below. I do cool. Again, none of the rooms I need. Hmm.
Just did not get many of the uh, the room that has all the chests in it. I also want to double check up here real quick. There's one. Finally. Ah. Claws out. Your plug's out. And duffel bag off. Might be some more, but I think that'll take care of the biggest crowd. So, this is the room I was looking for. Oh crap, this isn't the room. This is the alternate version. <laughs> it doesn't have the uh, closet with the cleaning materials other than what's in here. Ammonia, it doesn't give me what I need, damn it. Um. Alright, I think I'm gonna bag the <laughs> cleaning that MBR vest for now. I don't want to go searching around the entire lab looking for uh, soap. I know there's probably some in here, and I know where it's usually at. But I don't technically need it, so we'll hold off on that portion. Um, let's go get... Alright, give me coat, boots, boots, and... Sure, as well. Just did the first item. That's kind of weird. All right, there's uh, 40 Kevlar plates, 31 plastic chunks, and 71 Nomex patches. Quick and easy. Strings. Get it all done. Don't care about the black klaxon. There's 600 thread. Whoops. Arg. <laughs> that would be me accidentally moving my whole stack again. So, what am I missing down here? Uh, 
Uh, jacket, chest rig, duct tape. Alright, those will go grab. Oh, I don't have a rain jacket? How do I not have a rain jacket? Oh, it's a raincoat. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that one's fine. Yeah, take them both. Um, Alright, so raincoat. Drop leg pouches, duct tape. I think that's everything. Apparently I got somebody hanging out the back of the lab. Okay, I want to go ahead and build the Put that up there. Workbench, pipes, sheet metal, two two full sheets, four small, and eight pipes. Alright, no problem. So, four small, two full, and eight pipes. <laughs> Quiet, Mr. Cyborg. Workbench, right there in the corner, please. All right, so now we've got a workbench. Now I can build without having to take my claws in and out. Um, plus it gives a speed bonus for crafting. Uh, let's have some food before we do anything else. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Okay, light survivor suit. We are one level above tailoring, so it could fa fail and lose the materials, but the chances are fairly low. But uh, as every, people who've watched my series any amount of time knows, <laughs> if it's going to happen, if there's even a chance, it might happen right here. So three hours time to completion. Fine. Use the vest. That's fine. Everything else is automatic. Don't care. All right, there we go. Light survivor suit is finished. Next up. Alright, sure. If I do the boots, I'll be wearing the rollerblades mostly, but I'll be carrying the boots. I want to get them made anyway, so go ahead and finish that. Boots are done. The hood. Hood's done. Alright, what are we missing for the mask? Gotta get the welder. Or the soldering iron for the mask, and then ooh, ballistic or safety. All right, and then uh, gloves. We just need leather. All right, so leather, safety glasses, ballistic. Oh, I got one pair of safety glasses. Uh, string I've got down there, and a plastic bottle I've got, I think. We'll grab one. Alright, should give me everything I need. Oh, 
get adjacent to the uh the plate and this was I missing the mask oh yeah I needed the welder or the soldering iron all right forgot to bring those oops <laughs> Wheel be in progress, sure, I guess. Right, now it's being weird. How come you're not using the bench? Yeah, I don't really care. Hey there, Poil22. Welcome back. Um, soldering iron welder. And we'll be all set. So, welder I've got. I put the car battery in, right? I think that's what I was doing. Let's just go with the soldering iron. Oops. Need all the soldering. And that one and that one. <laughs> I not put it in my inventory. Apparently I had it set wrong. Damn it! Where did I shuffle it off to? Soldering iron. Seem right. Good suit, boots, gloves. Oh, that's right. I still have to unload and reload this thing. Soldering iron. <laughs> uh, that one, please. Now we can finally do it. Okay. Nope. Uh, all right, so let's uh, ditch this weird stuff for just a moment. What's going on with my face? <laughs> uh, not sure what's going on with my face. Yeah, I guess that's just a cyborg face with the uh, no hair. Hmm. Hood, mask, suit, boots, gloves. All right, so there's the full base set. Let's also activate the map. Hey. What do you mean it has zero charges but needs one? It says 100. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's true. That could be the broken CBM face. <laughs> Forgot about that. All right. Well, how about we try to reload it? Now it says it's 62. It went from 100 down to 62 after I told it to reload. I all right. Whatever game. Weird. We'll go with it though. All right. So there's the full base set. Um. Now, I have to decide with that, what else am I going to put on? I want to put on the Flame Resistant Suit and Hood. Uh, I'm not sure to let me put that on, uh, but we'll see. Um, we're going to have to refit a bunch of this stuff, too. Come here, Taylor's kit. So, let's grab the tack gloves. Flame resistance, suit, hood, and gloves. Oh yeah, I got some other stuff I gotta make. What are the chances I can reinforce? Ooh, 50-50, huh? But if I fail, the repair is gonna be easy, so we should be able to do this. It's just gonna take some time and burn some thread, but eventually we'll succeed and get a reinforce, but let's hold off on that. All right, uh, let's see. Fiber backpack, two backpacks, and then the pouches and all the other stuff. Some of that stuff I have, I believe. Pouches, belts, packs. Got the integrated tool set, so I don't need to worry about the utility belt this time. Um, so, we're just going to go ahead and make, what, one extra backpack? I need one or the other. Down by the table, please. And I use the leather. Let's do both instead. More rags. <laughs> tired again. Ah, you mess up and lose 0% lose progress. <laughs> uh, Alright. 
Fine, let's go to sleep. Uh, I better eat and drink first. Um, beef brisket, please. us up. Oh, the stupid cyborg up north. Um, alright, let's go kill that guy. He's gonna, he's gonna annoy me. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll put the earplugs in. <laughs> <laughs> Good old famish shit again. I ate uh, four four meals of beef brisket right before I went to sleep. <laughs> All right, let's have uh you spread candy, more candy, crackers, fruit. That should be good enough. We're still hydrated. Uh, grab the backpack. No. Activate. Uh, I want to continue it on the table. I don't want to pick it up. Once again, I have to put my stupid claws away in order to interact with this menu. Ah, uh, now I'm out of leather. Uh, I brought all my leather down here. Well, that sucks. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Their pants, I can chop those up, give me a few. That might be enough. Got six. I don't think I'm going to get four out of this damaged leather pants. Come on, transfer. Three. <laughs> God! Uh, here. I am fumbly fingers tonight. Let's see, what else? I don't think. Leather? Can't remember. Uh, cotton and plastic. Uh, they're gonna make me go up and. Uh, I got nine out of the ten I need. They're gonna make me go up and rip a seat apart. 